I'm setting up my easel in a parking lot in Kingston, New York. Now, fortunately, I know that car will be parked there for a while because the guy just parked the car and got out. Now, this is my watercolor sketchbook primed with casein orange and some white. And I've got down here, I've got cobalt blue hue, light red, black, and white. It's a small number of colors, but all I really want to do is capture the light and dark values. I'm not terribly concerned with hue or chroma other than just warm and cool colors. I have the black on there because I want to be able to get good dark darks. Now I'm starting off by painting the shapes of the darks and I'm painting them somewhat cool because they're in shadow. The light of the setting sun is fairly warm, so relatively the light coming from the sky behind me is going to be somewhat cooler. And for this line of far buildings, I'm thinning the paint down to make it almost more like watercolor. And with it semi-transparent, the orange color of the casein priming comes through and makes a nice gray. Because the casein has a sealed surface, it won't pick up with these washes. And you could use acrylic or acrylic wash for your underpainting if you wanted to. So here's a black and blue wash laid over the whole thing. Now I'm painting in the lighter areas of the illuminated pavement. And I want to cover up most of that orange color. Here's the line of the far mountains. A bit bluer since it's farther back. Now I can use some of that light red in a tint form to paint the sky color. Oh no, this, oh, guy's driving off. I thought he'd be there a while. Okay. Well, maybe someone will park in his place with a similar kind of car. Who knows? Well, I'll switch to working in the foreground area. You can see I've just left thin lines of that orange color shining through. Now that far mountain range strikes me as a little dark and a little cool. I want to feel like there's more illuminated haze. So I'm going to mix some white with some of that red. That's my warm color. And real quickly, I'm just going to drag it lightly over the background color. If I scrub too much, I'll lift it up. And as you can see, that's a semi-opaque, milky scumble or glaze. So you can work transparently to darken a color, but you can also work semi-transparently to lighten a color if you mix white in it. And I want that edge lighting to be kind of dramatic as it shines off the edges of the forms and off the painted lines in the parking lot. The thin, oh no, oh, someone's driving off. That was my second car. That's a reddish wagon, but he's leaving now. So I have this car behind it. I guess I'll just try to remember what that reddish wagon looked like. Now the sunlight is starting to hit the side of those buildings. They're no longer in shadow. So I'm going to drag a light warm color over that cool dark color to get the feeling that this textured poured asphalt material is partially lit by the sun. 
I can also use some chalk over the dry paint to give me the feeling of haze in the sky. Using white and also yellow, this is new pastel. When I painted the sky, I didn't go all the way to white. I left a little bit of space there, value-wise, so I can come back in with a purer white. And I laid down some color and just dryly with a brush, I kind of scrub it into the surface. And to finish up with a warm white highlight color, I can do the hot highlights on the pavement and the cars. I've been fascinated lately by these ordinary views and commonplace subjects, especially facing toward the light. Because when you're facing toward the light, you can get the strongest effects of light in a picture. So the most important thing to think about is light and shadow and the value relationship between them and then think about warm and cool. And finally, the least important thing is the local color, the surface color of the objects. Now I've got a list of materials down in the description below. And if you're interested in casein, I want to watch this playlist of casein videos and a special video here about painting parked cars. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see new videos coming along. And my website has a lot of merch and other information.